check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. All right, guys. Today I'm going to do a reaction to this thing that uh, Danny Corbett sent me that is a uh, Fallen Angel. It's a short. It's a short little thing, and uh, I think Vader's involved. Okay, so we're going to have fun with this, and I'm going to watch this and see what the hell is up with it. It's called Fallen Angels again. It's a uh, Star Wars short, and let's see what we got. Oh, is that the man? Oh, there's that iconic sound. It's my man Vader. This actually looks really good because I'm pretty sure this is just some fans putting together something, to be honest with you. Oh man, is he going to see Padme? That's pretty cool. Man, this is, uh, okay. It's actually pretty, uh, pretty good, man. I gotta give these guys props. Oh, look at this idiot. He's trying to have a few moments with his dead wife. And look at these rebel rousers coming out of nowhere. Oh, yeah, they, they know they just screwed up. He just screwed up, man. Now, there ain't no time for backing down now, sir. Oh, dude, that's crazy. He loved that one by his own man, dude. They did the sound really good there. Ah, oh, man, it reminds me of a new hope when he gets that first guy and lifts him up on the damn ship. That that's actually pretty cool, man. I really do like that. That was that was a pretty kind of kick-ass scene because of the simple fact of like you didn't really get to see like Vader interact and like show emotion. He sh started to show emotion there where like you know already that doubt creeps that you end up getting in like Return of the Jedi. You know that that confusion that like battle between himself about being dark light, you know, with the sun and everything else. And in that moment, like he's going back and he's revisiting. Padme's grave and that's just really cool right like and, and but like just like everything else that happened with Vader of uh, these guys these rebel troops like show up like when he's trying to have this moment and interrupts him and like takes away his focus like his focus became like in the prequels like you know his mother like oh I could have been there for my mom I'm never gonna let this happen again so he did everything in his power to try to like save Padme and stop Padme from having anything so instead of keeping his focus on becoming like a great Jedi, like he should have been like, he gets distracted. And then it's all about finding a way to like stop Padme from dying and everything else. Cause he truly like 100% loved her or whatever, you know, how awkward the, the scenes are between them in the, in the prequels. It doesn't matter. They actually did love each other, 
Uh, but the thing is, is like, that's pretty cool. Like he goes through those struggles and everything else. And like, like I said, like every time it's almost like he's going to get to the moment or, or maybe he's going to make the right decision. Something happens and it, and, and it makes him like go the wrong direction. And he's always going the wrong direction. And what his mind is saying is a, in a good way. It's not necessarily a bad way. Like Vader is one of the best through lines of like a tragic hero that I think that has ever been put in the cinema. Like, I'm not going to say it's the best because like, obviously there's some great movies where there's this tragic, you know, hero or whatever. And like, because everything he tries to do is for something good, right? Like he's not trying to go out and be, he doesn't join the dark side uh, being a, a bad person or whatever. He joins the dark side because he's trying to save someone. So that's a little different. But thank you guys. Please like, subscribe to the channel and do all those cool things. And uh, until next time, peace.